Now, in the making of this trunk, uh, I had mentioned the size is going to be approximately 2 by 3 feet. But I should explain what's behind that because there's a principle that a lot of people are aware of without realizing it called the divine proportion. It's the ratio of, like, say, the side to the length of a thing. Like, say, even, like, if this was a mirror or a picture frame or something, there's a, there's a certain proportion that feels right to people. Uh, it's just a natural thing. The Greeks were really into it, but it really comes from nature. There's, there's a proportion that feels right. Uh... It just a lot of times you don't you don't realize that what you're looking at something could make you feel a little uncomfortable like if this was a little bit shorter there would be something that just didn't feel right about it and this isn't you know just like a western civilization thing people all over the world were doing the same came with the same idea without collaborating on it it's just it's it's something that comes from nature and it's kind of built into people. There's a size and a proportion that feels right. Th th this happens to be in that proportion. Like say if this is a, a unit of one, whatever it is, I actually never measured it, but this distance, then this length should be 1.618 is the ratio that they use. I always roughly figure it should be one and a half. But that gets you that proportion that just feels right to human beings. I uh, became very aware of it in the weaving. Okay. This, as it's folded, is in that proportion. Now, this actual rug is longer. Longer doesn't bother. You know, longer works. But it's if you get shorter. If you start getting to more, almost, you know, edging on the square of the thing, then it just feels wrong. Like, a rug this size would be hard to sell. People might think they want it, but they would always be a little uncomfortable with it. It needs to be in that divine proportion. Or more, but not not less than that. It gets real tricky on that. Though people don't even realize it. But that's where, you know, when I say I'm making approximately two by three, like this is the panel that will be the bottom of it. And this will be in that proportion. And it's something you don't actually even have to to think about it or overthink it. It's a natural thing that people want to do. I just have to think of when I was gluing this, because this will be the top, but I, it will be trimmed back some, because now you notice that this is almost square, and you get that, that little awkward feeling to it. But this will be trimmed some here, and then it'll have the curve, and that'll bring it back into that right proportion. But it's, I'm sure it's something that, well, maybe they teach us in art classes, that I don't know. But uh, in everyday life, you, you run across that proportion all the time, and you know that's what you want, but you don't actually realize that there's a term for it. But it is what it is. Oh, I was gonna, you see this piece of, you know, I'm setting things on here to glue them up flat. But what I'm actually using, Underneath them to make sure I get them flat is a sheet of glass. It's a piece of glass that my Sister replaced in her stove and I use that for You know, it's for like a gas fireplace For some reason replace the front of it and but this good piece of tempered glass makes a good base to be always square You know and solid so I use that a lot for that But I just thought people might be interested in it was called the golden ratio, 
a lot of different names. But, like I say, Greeks were really into it. But it's everywhere. It's just that a lot of times you don't realize what it is.